Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to cut open a padlock like this one or bigger if you don't have a code for it or if you don't have the key. We are going to use a Dremel to do this. Now most Dremels will be able to cut open a padlock. Even the Dremel stylo, which I have here, will be able to do it. It's just going to take a little bit more time. When it comes to cutting wheels, we have two main options. We have the reinforced ones and we have the smaller, simpler cutting wheels. I never use the smaller cutting wheels because they have a tendency to break while you are cutting if you put a little bit too much pressure on them. So I always use the reinforced ones because they are way more reliable. I will leave a link to all the tools I used in this video in the description below. Now before we do any cutting, we have to take some safety precautions. Always use safety glasses or a face mask when cutting metal. Also, when cutting metal, make sure that there is no highly flammable materials in the path of the sparks, because there's going to be some sparks. Yeah, that's about it. Let's start cutting the padlock. Now, before we do any cutting, we want to keep the padlock in a stable position to make a clean cut. I'm going to use a set of pliers to hold on to it. We also don't want our hand to come too close to the cutting disc while it's running, because that's a safety concern. I'm gonna set my Dremel to about 25,000 RPMs and start cutting slowly and carefully. Now, it's very important to let the tool do the work. Don't try to force the tool or pressure the tool through the metal. When you get a little bit deep into the cut, the tool has a tendency to kick or jump. To avoid this, you can try making a straighter cut than I do because it catches on to the edges of the cut and then wants to jump out of the cut. Make a straighter cut than I did, or you can come at the cut from different angles and different sides. This will avoid the jumping around. It is not dangerous, just keep a steady hand and then you'll be fine. Also, after you're finished with the cut, wait a while before touching the metal because this can be really, really hot. So yeah, that was about it. We were able to cut through the padlock. If this video helped you, please leave a like and consider subscribing.